Hello my little witchlings and today we are going to be reviewing The Bendiful by Tati Beauty so stay tuned. So I got this in the mail two days ago. I have been dying to get into this and I haven't even opened it up but this is what it looks like. So, and this is $18, so I saw this when she first did it, and I was like, no, I don't need it. I really need to stay in the low buy, and then I watched Manny review it, and I'm like, damn it, I guess I have to have it, because it just looks so interesting and so good, and I have such a hard time because of my age and because of my wrinkles and my skin that um, just makeup just doesn't look as good and I was hoping with this it will look so much better so we will wait and see so on the back it just has your cleaning instructions machine wash dry and delicate laundry bag or gentle hand wash in a warm soapy water rinse thoroughly and blot dry it says do not bleach do not dry clean okay who would dry clean their um I don't know. um and then it says in the back no harsh lines xo's tati so I can't wait. I have been wanting to open this up since I get it and I have waited for you guys. So, oh it's so soft. It's like, like a velvety sauce. But here's the little mini one. Isn't she cute? And here comes the big sucker. Oh, that is so soft. And as you can tell, there is nothing else in the back. It is empty. Oh my gosh, this is, oh. That is so soft. So soft. But this is what it looks like right here. This reminds me of like 90s. Me in the 90s using, you know, more sponges. I never used brushes. I never used these. And I always do stuff like this. But nothing. Nothing like this. Because, oh my gosh. I love that. So the whole point with this is that you can use anything on this thing you can use your foundation you can use cream products powders dry products so i am looking forward to trying this out with you guys and see if it works you can fold it up like this so you could do like harsh lines here and here and under here the little points good for like under your eyes so i am going to scoot you guys up a little closer and we are going to start this Ugh too much on <laughs> my skin so this is what I look like with nothing on it's 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 bad I know so first thing I do have to do is I got to put some moisturizer on my face so which one I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this Clotidil then perfect anti serum radiant serum right here so I don't even think I have used this yet it's on my desk we've got so much skin products from our subscription boxes that you just haven't needed any. So I'm not gonna use the Blendiful for this. I just need to put some moisture back in my skin because it is dry, dry, dry. Is this to dry it away a little bit? Hey, it makes a great little fan afterwards. <laughs> So, I am going to use my Tatcha, the Silk Canvas, for my primer, and I am about all gone with that, but that's okay. So, I am so excited to use this. So, I am going to go in with the tip and just grab some product. I know that's a lot, but that's how much my skin takes. It's horrible. So... seems to be getting in there good I'm gonna need believe it or not more oh there we go this is a primed so for foundation I am gonna use um, this covergirl in Olay simply ageless and it is in medium beige I really do like this um, foundation it works so good so I'm gonna put some of that on the blendiful so I'm gonna do stupid books so push my hair back a little 
So I heard people, they, they're patting this in or they're um, sliding it. So I want to try to slide and see what happens. Oh, that's nice. not complaining that's actually really really nice I'm gonna add a little bit more I've already got this thing oh so filthy already and I've barely started so slide that on horrible at all I do see like I think it's mostly because my skin like I said is so dry there is a little bit like I can see it sitting on top of my pores and stuff but like there's no lines at all like I always get lines if I use a brush or even a little makeup sponge so I am liking that like it looks seamless and I'm one of those people that absolutely does not like a very full coverage foundation because I can feel it and with the way my skin looks the more product I put on it the more like my fine lines and wrinkles show up so I'm not really into that but for the foundation part I like it I think it did a really really good job so next we're going to go into concealer and I am using Jeffree Star's the um magic concealer and this is in C8 this to me is the best concealer ever I have tried so many concealers and so many of them like they look horrible the crease under here or in my corners right here this doesn't do that and this is the only concealer ever that has not done this the one that gives it a run for its money is the elf camo concealer this is a really good concealer too but I definitely love this one so much so and this you don't need a lot you just let's quarter of your desk but you only need a little bit so and I just put some and I just put some here and here down the bridge of my nose and on my chin and then over here too because I got some pimples coming in and on top of the eyes and look, I have not dipped back into this thing and I've been able to do my whole face <laughs> with this one concealer. It's amazing. So let's give this a test and see how this blends in. Wow. That's pretty seamless itself. I love that. I need to get a little bit better over here. Not too bad. There's oh I'm just gonna start pressing in a little bit of this because it is creasing up a little bit, but I don't think that has anything to do with this. Like I said, my skin is so dry right now from it being winter and being sick that my face always affects it no matter what I do and I also didn't put any oil inside my foundation because I usually will put in something like this this is the elf hydrating boost drops and I love this kind of stuff because this makes it so my face isn't so dry so but I'm not complaining I do I love this thing and that's what it looks like so far it's still it's a little dirty but it's not horrible so next we're gonna go into some cream contour and I'm gonna use the Kat Von D shade and light contour so. and, and this is what it looks like right here I just bought this and I totally forgot about it so I was like oh I'll pull that out and use it so I am gonna go into this shade right here on the bottom 
and then just put that here same thing for the other side and a little bit up here and on my chin hide some of this fat and then I'm gonna start swirling it in going up and then do that to the other side too Oh, man, does that blend in so good. Wow, that is awesome. So next, I'm going to go into this shade right here and just do under the eyes a little just to lighten it up. Wow, I am liking that. that. Oh, this thing, it just smoothed everything right in. Not shabby, like it a lot. Okay, so for powder, I'm going to use the Magic Star Cons Powder. And this is in translucent. I'm going to use a little Baby Blendiful for that. Oh. And I'm going to pat that in. Never thought I would use a sponge again <laughs> to do my face. Wow. It looks so good. Like, I can't get over that at all. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to squirt my face with a little bit of Morphe and Jeffree Star setting spray. Well, the mist on this is incredible. And then we're going to let that soak in a little bit. For me, this just helps seal it because we have all that wet and all that powder and it just really seals it in and there we go so, so next we're gonna grab some bronzer or next we're gonna grab some bronzer and we're gonna use the Lovecraft Beauty I like these I got these in a couple boxy charms and I have really been enjoying them so I'm going to grab the big sponge and I am going to turn it and I'm gonna go into these two shades right here Let's just see. I might have grabbed a little too much product. And then up here. And go up into my hairline. And again down by my neck. Maybe going down. And then I'm going to grab my Magic Circle powder again and pick up some more of that. And then I'm going to just bake right here. So there's no harsh lines. I'm really liking this like oh this looks amazing and the last thing I have is blush so we're gonna try blush with this too why not so we're using the Lovecraft Beauty blush so and we'll grab our sponge again it is getting kind of icky that's okay and I am going to go into Daphne right here and I'm gonna put this on my cheekbones Same for the other side. Oh. 
Wow. I wonder if it'll do highlighter too. Let's see. What do I have for highlighter on my desk? We have, oh, let's do some Ofra. We have some Ofra right here. And this is Rodeo Drive. So let's pick up this Blendiful again. And it's on the tip. And there it is. I have done my whole base of my face with the Tati Beauty. Wonderful. And yeah, it's dirty, but it's not horrible. And I'm looking in the mirror like my contour is a little <laughs> bit dark, but that's okay. I actually, I do like it a lot. I think it looks really good. So let me see if I can just blend that down just a little bit. I'm going to take some more powder and just see if that can go down just a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to spray my face one more time until it all melts in. really liking this like there's no harsh edges I mean like let me scoot you guys in a little bit closer do you see that there's like no harsh edges it all looks absolutely seamless like it's it's beautiful I'm absolutely loving it so much yes that's a little dark but I, I like it I think it looks really good so what I think about this yes I'm gonna use this all the time if I just remember to wash it that will be half the problem <laughs> but I do I I love this thing I think it did an amazing job like you can't this beats this out of the water she's got something here guys she really does and I'm not one that be like oh just get it because it's the newest and the greatest thing because you know me that's not it I like this I almost didn't get this I was talking to a friend of mine I'm like no it's stupid I don't need it and then I'm I got it and I'm gonna order another one because this thing is absolutely awesome well I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys will subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time that I upload a new video I hope you guys have a wonderful and a magical day and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys